This story is about the hardest thing a parent can do, say an untimely goodbye to their children. We thank you, Father God, that you are the God that binds all broken hearts and heal our wounds. Words of comfort from a pastor as heartbroken parents remember their teenage sons who perished in a house fire Friday, October 21st. The emotions are just as raw as the day it happened. In disbelief. I mean, just, just till, yeah. Shannon Hall still struggling to comprehend that her son's 17-year-old Alex and 15-year-old Anthony are no longer in this life. They were both great kids, very happy. <laughs> Lost their lives way too soon. The tragic fire changing life forever on the 27,100 block of Florence in Inkster. I got off work, I came home, house was black. I went in and there was smoke and I didn't realize what was going on in my house, but I called 911 when I seen my son on the floor, which looked like he was sleeping, but there was smoke everywhere. The boys made mom and dad so proud and so happy. Anthony was a real silly kid. He, he loved being silly, taking silly pictures. Um, playing around. Alex was a computer genius. He put a computer together. He he was real smart. He had started watching Shark Tank. I think he was gonna be my next inventor, or computer whiz. A release of balloons as family and friends looked to the heavens. But the family is also looking to Metro Detroit and beyond for help with this GoFundMe page so they can say a proper final goodbye. Alex had a bright future ahead of him. We just started getting letters from colleges wanting him because of his grades. And Anthony was a, was a special old man. And, you know, they're gone and we, we do need help to, uh, you know, to take care of these final arrangements. So. Anything that anybody can do is, 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 is appreciated. Firefighters say they got to the scene within minutes. They say the fire had been going for some time, but appeared to have smothered itself out. They say it looks to be accidental. The exact cause is not known. Only the boys were home when the fire happened. Dave Kinchin on the Edge.